Heard about what happened at the bazaar? Chaos and mayhem. This is what comes from lawlessness. You're self-confident. That much is obvious. But do you believe in anything outside of yourself? Bigger than yourself? You mean like a god? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. That's rather bleak, don't you think? <laughs> I think you've read one too many of Kafka's books. It's not rainbows and puppies out there, Thalia. True. But don't you hope there's a greater... Uh, being? Consciousness? Whatever? Something that gives us a higher purpose? I think the only thing that gives anyone higher purpose is the face they see staring at them from a mirror. I see. Thank you for sharing this with me. Oh, here. I have to go, but I have to tell you something first. What's that? But I know I don't always have the right words, but I do enjoy our talks. I'm glad. I do too. See you again. Soon, I hope. Done it again, Hayden. As I expected you would. <laughs> what have you brought? H.G. Wells was a master of science fiction, in part because he knew his science. It wasn't humanity that prevailed over the Martians, but germs. <laughs> germs, man! Can you believe it? <laughs> so simple, yet so small. Would that our plight were suddenly resolved in that way. Kipling's The Jungle Book has an underlying theme of abandonment, followed by themes of adoption and nurturing. Oh, how so many today feel abandonment. Hopefully, nurturing souls remain. What am I saying? Of course they do. You are one such soul. It's beautiful, Aiden. This collection, it's... <laughs> I know, I know you think me a fool. But I am moved. Thank you for this gift. This gift to me. This gift to the world. There you are, dear Aiden. I've missed you. Likewise, Thalia. Albert seems pleased with today's haul. H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, huh? You know, every day I wonder. Are we at war? Well, who, us? Wait, did I say something wrong? Oh, Aiden, that was so cute. No, oh, no, we're good. I was referring to the world around us. Is that in a state of war? 
Oh, right. The world. Oh, we're at war, all right, believe me. And not just one, a lot. Everyone seems to be at each other's throats for one reason or another. Sounds like you're talking about the infected. Some days it's hard to tell who's more dangerous. The infected, the regular people. How distressing, Aiden. But quite an insight. Here's what you need. Till next time? Yeah, till next time, Thalia. I am continually astounded by your tenacity and success. Let's see today's catch. Ah, Lewis Carroll truly captured the surreal feeling of disorientation, of falling into a strange world in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I often feel like I've fallen into another world, but sadly, this one is no Wonderland. Given the nature of H.P. Lovecraft's horrific creations, I suppose we should count ourselves lucky. What would we do if an old god suddenly awoke? Lovecraft excelled at creating a sense of dread, which made his stories all the more horrifying. I can relate to a persistent feeling of dread. Definitely. Thanks to you, 
This collection is already unparalleled in the city. Sadly, our sources are getting dry, and I have nothing new for you right now. But I am confident we will manage to dig up at least some more from the city. Just you watch. Wait for my call, Aiden. Got any new rare monsters lurking out there? Yes, there are. I've gotten reports of a monster prized for the fluid contained in its eyeballs. Ooh, I can already see where this is going. Yes. You must bring me this creature's eyeballs. Take care with them, for they must remain intact until I am ready to use the fluid in a potion. Keep the eyeballs intact. Got it. Uh, by the way, is everything okay between you and Corvus? We're fine. I'm more concerned about you. Rumors of a singularly dangerous monster have reached me. Watch your back as you hunt. Go to the location I've marked. Oh! <laughs> 
Here are your... You'd do well to remember our arrangement, woman. Not now. The Bubber and I are speaking. We'll finish later, Corvus. No need to make the young man wait while we argue. Fine. But take care you heed my words. Mm, problems? None of your business. You need not be concerned. All right, as you wish. Here they are. Those eyes you sent me after? In perfect condition, too. You deserve every bit of this reward. What can I get for you, Baba? Your tone grows too familiar. Know your place, boy. Carvath, don't be rude. Your own tune could use some improvement. Do you not remember your place, witch? Must I remind you yet again? All right, what's with you two? Yeah, something's going on, and I want to know what it is. It remains none of your concern. Corvus is right. We should stick to business. And I have another large order to fulfill. That means I'll be trapping, not collecting. Precisely. Go to the GRE island, and you'll find a large swarm of virals. I need you to catch two creatures in the trap. Two and one. Got it. Supply already set up the trap. And don't get cocky. Them beastlies will surely give you a run for your money. And running's all I know, Baba. Yeah. <laughs> 
safer already. The PK sure pissed off the renegade. Aiden, how did it go? Two frothing virals, packaged and ready for delivery. That's wonderful. I can make all manner of potions and medications from their live organs. You saved many a life today, Aiden. Villador, what's left of it, is grateful. Oh, it's all in a night's work. Uh, what monster guts do you need today? The sweat glands of a rarely seen creature. Rarely seen, but recently seen, I gather. Very recently. It's hard to miss, too, when it comes out at night. With the secretions from those glands, I can make all manner of sense to both attract and repel the infected. But watch out, Aiden. This one only comes out at night. And that's not even half of what might shock you when you encounter it. Intriguing. <laughs> Be back soon. Here are those sweat glands, and you were right. The hunt was electrifying. Hey, you should have come with me, Corvus. Maybe getting shocked by one of those things would lighten you up. Speak to me that way at your peril. I wouldn't tease Corvus like that. You'd best just take your reward and go. What have you got for me? I have a customer here, with a direct request. My name is Harlan. The Baba has told me about you. About your bravery in procuring rare ingredients. I do what I'm paid to do. Nothing special. Oh, but you're wrong. The Baba, she saves people. And since you help her, that means you save people too. So what do you need? My father. He's... Dying. A blood parasite. The Baba, she says she can help, but she needs some very rare ingredients. 
Right. So I'll go get them. Like I said, nothing special. But this is very dangerous. Too dangerous. I could not let the bugger ask on my behalf. I, I wouldn't feel right, even to save my own father, if I didn't ask you myself. What's so dangerous about this hunt? Remember the demolisher and the goon you hunted for me some time ago? It turns out there are two more of them in the city. And I need tissue from both of them if I am to save Harlan's father. I am so sorry to ask this of you. It's all right, Harlan. Eden will help. Now, go be with your father. Yes, of course. You're right, Baba. Another pair of mutated infected, huh? Hunt them down, Eden. You will be doing a favor both to Harlan and many other residents by getting rid of those abominations. Leave it to me. Yeah. 
the tissue for Harlan's father. You managed to kill both of them. Good. This will work, won't it? I do hope so, but this is medicine, not magic. We can only do our best and hope it is enough. Wait, not magic? Where'd the witch act go? You'll have to trust me. Just take your money and leave me to my work. Do as the Baba says. I don't need anything from you right now. I will contact you. Aiden, I have a fresh list of book locations for you. Was that Alice's Adventures in Wonderland you brought back? Do you consider the library your Wonderland now? I don't know about that, but it's a definite change of pace. I bet. I would imagine, like Alice's journeys, yours are disorienting. And you're probably surrounded by no small amount of madness. You seem immune to such afflictions. Seem, I say. But... But are you really, Aiden? Do you ever get close to losing it? 
No way. If I did, I'd be dead. I can see that you're a stoic. But certainly you must feel fear and dread at times. Like late at night when you're alone? When the day comes closing in on you? I got no room for that. It's unproductive and dangerous. I see. Well, I certainly didn't mean to impugn your manhood. And I'm off. See you next time. <laughs> I'll be counting the hours.
Won't say a word. <laughs>